I like dragons. Now, please, no mother-in-law jokes. I'm saying nothing. <clears throat> because I like dragons, you know. We've got the dragon there, and it's got a dragon's blood incense stick in it. So, I do like my dragons. So, in that respect, <clears throat> ah, and of course, I live in Wales, because dragons are real. Everybody knows that, and if you don't know that, well, there's no hope for you. So, in that respect, dragon's breath. Now, if I had that, everything would be burnt to a cinder, wouldn't it? <laughs> Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh, do you know, yeah, I should have put the filter on, shouldn't I? <laughs> anyway, Dartmoor Brewery, dragon's breath, 4.4%. A rich ruby, slightly cherry, it says. Hmm. Well, we shall see, shall we? And apparently, it's the um, brewed in the highest brewery in the UK at 1,465 feet above sea level. That's on Dartmoor. Now, I would have thought other places would have been higher than that, but then again, they might not have a brewery on it. So, you never know, do they? Anyway, let's have a crack open of this, and uh, if I can find my uh, bottle opener. Ah. <coughs> Excuse me, I'll use this one today. I've had this one for a while actually, I've been looking forward to trying it, and it's just one of those things that I'll never get wrong to it. Right, here we go. Hmm, well, I can't smell it much because of the... Uh, the incense, but let's um, let's get it in the glass and we'll give it a good whiff. Took mm. amongst yourselves for a minute. Mm. Look at that, just about perfect. Let's have a look at this then. Okay. Ruby, definitely ruby red. You can see through it just about. Really, really nice. One finger, white, creamy head on the top of it. Not much in the way of carbonation, but then darker beers don't, do they? Right, yeah, I'm getting maltiness and cherryness. There is cherry in there. Whether that's a good thing or not, we shall find out on the taste test. And whether it's fiery. Like a dragon's breath fire. Who knows? Who knows? I'll bring the other dragon down again. Give it a taste, see if it likes it. <laughs> Stupid boy. Anyway, cheers folks. Here's a nice dark beer. Lovely, beautiful colour. I like the look of that. I'm going in. Wow. That is, on first taste, knockout. That is absolutely lovely. There isn't even a hint of cherry. You can smell the cherry in it, but you can't taste it. There is a sweetness in there, which probably the cherry is providing. But, oh, smooth, gorgeous flavour, malty, even almost, hang on, just check. almost toffee like notes in there that is real really really nice dragon's breath dartmoor brewery 4.4 percent i'm gonna really enjoy this one and there's a love there is a lovely sweet after taste in there that is oh i think that's one of the best ones i've done this year Hang on, it's only January. Okay, we're on a good start then. Superb. That is very, very nice indeed. See, I've even got a dragon on my glass. <laughs> um, <clears throat> 
any more dragon related beers about let me know I'd be interested yeah yeah that is very nice dragon's breath brewery in dark from Dartmoor Prince down in Devon caramel I said toffee didn't it there's caramel in there you can you can taste it you can taste that more than the uh, <clears throat> more than the cherry which is a good thing a good thing <sighs> right I'm gonna enjoy this and I hope you do as well if you find it I think Morrison's could have been as I know other supermarkets are available and I wish there was a decent beer shop in my local area anyway there's a thought, there's a niche. I might start one up. I wish. Cheers, folks. Looks like it's going to snow over weekend, over this way anyway, in the Midlands. So be careful, be extra careful. Don't go out in the snow. In fact, don't go out at all until we're allowed to. And so from uh, Dennis the Dragon, I just made that up. I don't know. And myself will bid you a fond farewell.